know what they do when they're about to do something extraordinary? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They say lights, mm -hmm. camera, right. action. Mm -hmm. action. And then you say, it's showtime. Well, guys, it truly is showtime. Welcome to Kitchen Pulpit under the banner of Ndawo Yangu, my place in Zimbo Yangu, where we're extolling and exalting a healthy lifestyle. And we are here on this pulpit where we don't use the Bible, but we use pot pines and we're going to use organic foods to be able to preach to you. Well, let's welcome back one of our most powerful preachers on this pulpit. Her name is none other than Nyari Nyari. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Thank you for having me again. Well, I think the again will be again and again and uh, again until Jesus. Comes. Well, 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 that's <laughs> fine. And today, um, uh, I am a little bit excited because mm -hmm. I see we have almost uh, things that are almost ready mm -hmm. and we're going to do it in a very different style. Yeah, You're yeah. going to teach us to make what is called a... A Buddha ball. A Buddha ball. Mm -hmm. Wow. Buddha ball. Mm -hmm. Huh. Nice. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to know, not mm -hmm. only to know how to make it, but you know, the most interesting part of this show mm -hmm. is actually the tasting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what do we have here and uh, how do we prepare what we have for for what we're going to make the Buddha ball. Okay, so Buddha ball basically it's clean eating. You are trying to eat all sorts of vegetables without the starch. However, you're going to have a green so that uh, they will say Kwisa Foundation Noob. Okay. <laughs> that, you that you are nice and full, but it's basically clean eating, a lot of steamed food, fresh greens sweet greens a bit sour greens that your palate gets to experience everything the name buddha ball comes from you know buddha the drawing buddha yes. he sits with a little bowl right so most of our ingredients today because we use fresh ingredients we use steamed ingredients are already pre-prepared so Remember that other week where we had like a five minute meal when we did the couscous salad? Yeah. We we're almost in the same wavelength where you're just doing Hallelujah. You love five minute meals. I, mean, I love those because you know, especially when you are here mm -hmm. and you're already appetized by just mm -hmm. how the things look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is for someone who's trying to go vegetarian or trying to go vegan, who still asks to say, What do I eat? What do vegetarians eat? This is what we eat. There is variety. I mean, our God is a sovereign God, one that is wise, one that is beyond what we can even imagine. He has given us variety of fruits, vegetables, grains, and we're just here on kitchen table trying to help you to see the different varieties that you have. So on our grains today that we're going to look at, we're going to look at quinoa. 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 Okay. Um, okay. This is quinoa. Yes. Oh, before it is. Okay. Yeah. So tell us a bit more about quinoa. Okay. So quinoa is actually a grain that's grown in Zimbabwe. Can you believe that? Okay. Yeah. I don't want to look surprised on set, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Well, I know that. I know that quinoa. <laughs> uh, is it in um, what do you call that place? <laughs> So it's a great that's I'm still <laughs> trying to figure out the name, the Shona name to it. But quinoa is grown in some parts of Zimbabwe, in your region fives, region fours, where it's very hot and they grow these grains. Quinoa, that's before good. it's cooked, it's not popped, it's small and round. And then when it's cooked, it looks like it has germinated. So it looks like the heat. You know, sorry, before you continue, you know, mm -hmm. something that is surprising me is. Mm -hmm. Uh, it looks like you've got three colored grains inside here. Yeah, yeah, Does yeah. Does it mean that all these grains come from one or you mix three no, different? No, it, it's three different ones. So you've got red quinoa, you've got brown quinoa, you've got white quinoa. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Others called it quinoa. People call it different names. Yeah, well, let's not go about where people were schooled. Let's go oh, straight I'm from <laughs> Kambuzuma. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't even, uh, you just had to go there. But anyway, uh, there's white quinoa, there's red red quinoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. brown quinoa, and brown quinoa. Yeah, or you can get a mix of, of everything. Okay, yeah. okay. So our quinoa has already been pre-boiled. You boil this for 15-20 minutes, or sometimes you can go beyond 15-20 minutes to 25 minutes, depending on how soft you want it to be. 
Okay. So when you boil, you boil with your water. It's as though you're making your rice. Add, add your quinoa, put your salt with your water and pre-boil it. Okay. So people have it in different ways, but in our Buddha bowl today, we're just going to have, have it as it is. Okay. In that we're not going to spice it, we're not going to do it like we did our bali or our couscous. We're going to have it in its raw format. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I am going to plate my quinoa in our bowls. So remember, like I said, the whole idea of a Buddha ball is to eat clean. Don't want to eat fatty foods, don't want to eat overcooked foods. You're eating the food in its most rawest format. So here I've got baby spinach. So I've got my baby spinach. I am going to lay it in the plate. So Ta, we invited you here today so that you can taste our Buddha bowl. The past three weeks I've had the pastor tasting and you know he meant his big English words. I can imagine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping to get a good... Guys, reading. I'm here. I'm here. So, okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Please go on ahead. Okay. Oh, this is a lot. Here it is. Okay. So you said I pick everything, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like a bit of cabbage. Some sweet corn, some mm -hmm, quinoa, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, some carrot. Mm -hmm. Let's try this one for first. Okay. Mm. It's nice. That's surprisingly soft. The quinoa. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Let me also test if it's that so mm. that's soft. Okay, now I know how to do it. So okay. The sweet mm. corn, the quinoa, mm -hmm. the carrot. Mm -hmm. The peas, mm -hmm. the cabbage. Mm -hmm. I think I need the tomato so that I can do more than tabs it. Oh, you're ambitious. Okay, <laughs> let me go for the tomato. Oh, I actually got quite a lot. I'm gonna try some soya okay. bowls okay. with the tomato and mm -hmm. the carrot. Mm. Mm. That's a mouthful. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Every day. You could do this. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Even you at home, you can eat clean mm. if you try our butter bowls. Wow, guys. I am lost of words. Mm -hmm. Tapi, do you know where we can get Nyari to help us with this beautiful looking, tasting and amazing food? Now I even know it. 
www.nia.co.w <laughs> What are you waiting for? Tell your friends to tell their friends to check it out. In case you didn't get that one, we are putting it on our screen. Thank you for joining Reality Table. Tappy, I think we can officially make you our food tester. What do you think? I take my job very seriously. Ah. <laughs> and if you want to do the same, uh, don't forget, uh, contact us on the numbers below. God bless you. Uh, that's ciao from us. Thank you for having us.